ASEAN's six major economies, pulled out of recession in the second quarter, reporting its strongest annual growth rate in the past decade. However, economic recovery will suffer a setback due to a recent surge in COVID-19 infections across the region. As risks continue to lurk, analysts are downgrading their outlooks for the economy due to the virus resurgence and mobility restrictions imposed in July and August. Except Vietnam, growth rate of ASEAN 6 is due to low base effect, where the latest GDP figure is compared to a much lower figure from the previous year, effectively making an impression that economic recovery was significant. These, were the economic performances of the six major economists in Southeast Asia. Vietnam. Southeast Asia's growth leader in 2020, may still continue its growth momentum as Vietnam posted a 6.61% growth in the second quarter this year. Vietnam's economic growth accelerated in the second quarter on resurgent global demand, after posting 4.7% in the first quarter. In the general growth rate of the whole economy, the agriculture, forestry and fishery sector, increased by 3.82%, contributing 8.17% growth. Industry and construction sector, increased by 8.36%, contributing 59.05%, while the service sector, increased by 3.96%, contributing 32.78% growth. Though, economic setback is expected as the country's worst outbreak of the pandemic temporarily shuttered key manufacturing hubs and economic center of the country. Indonesia, Southeast Asia's largest economy grew 7.07% in the April to June quarter compared with a year earlier, its first expansion in four quarters recession. It is also favorable compares to the January to March period, where GDP contracted by around 0.7% year-on-year. This was due to the surging exports, including impressive 56% growth in commodity shipments. The increase in community mobility in the second quarter of 2021 drove the growth of household consumption expenditure by 5.93%, and its government consumption increases by 8.06%. Gross fixed capital formation investment spending by 7.54%, exports of goods and services shot up by 31.78%, while imports matched it, with a rise of 31.22%. After losing upper middle income nation status last month, just a year after it was classified as one. The country is still battling the pandemic, Indonesia is a worst affected country in the region with almost 4 million recorded infections with the highest mortality rate of 453 in every 1 million. Thailand. Southeast Asia's second largest economy, exiting the five-quarter recession after posting a growth rate of 7.5% in April to June quarter compared with a year earlier. The second quarter expansion is attributed mainly to a 27.5% increase in export and other sectors such as investments and domestic consumption. However, the National Economic and Social Development Council downgraded its prediction of the Thai economy in 2021 to grow between 0.7 and 1.2%, from its previous 1.5 to 2.5% projection in May. The revision of the forecast is primarily due to the ongoing outbreak of the coronavirus and its adverse impact on several industries. Thailand had successfully prevented the spread of the virus during the first year of the pandemic, but since April the situation began to deteriorate following an outbreak of COVID-19 detected in several nightlife establishments in Bangkok. Thailand had over a million infection, on which more than 200,000 are active cases as of August 2020. Philippines. The Philippine economy grew by 11.8% in the second quarter of 2021 after five-quarter consecutive setbacks. The main contributors to the growth, with their corresponding increase, were manufacturing, 22.3%, construction, 25.7%, and wholesale and retail trade, repair of motor vehicles and motorcycles, with 5.4%.
Among the major economic sectors, industry and services posted positive growths of 20.8% and 9.6%, respectively. Meanwhile, agriculture, forestry, and fishing posted a contraction of 0.1% in the second quarter of 2021. The Philippine economy grew at its fastest annual pace in over three decades in the second quarter, rebounding from a COVID-induced slump a year ago. But tighter curbs are clouding the outlook, reinforcing an accommodative monetary stance. The economy needs to grow 8.2% in the second half of the year to hit the low end of the government's full-year growth target of 6% to 7%. Philippines is second-worst coronavirus outbreak in Southeast Asia, though active cases are lower compared to Indonesia as of August, and even to the countries with lesser population like Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam. While Metro Manila vaccinated individual already reach 50% of the entire population. Singapore. The upgrade in official economic forecast comes as the Singapore economy grew 14.7% in the second quarter of 2021 from a year 2020. Here's how the various sectors in Singapore performed in the second quarter. Manufacturing expanded by 17.7% from a year earlier, with the transport engineering and precision engineering clusters recording the largest increases in output. Construction more than doubled from a year ago, due to a low base of comparison as most activities were suspended during a partial lockdown last year. Services producing industries expanded by 10.3% from a 2020, with retail trade growing 50.7% on year. Barring a major setback in the global economy, the Singapore economy is expected to continue to see a gradual recovery in the second half of the year. Supported in large part by outward-oriented sectors. With very low infection rate, Singapore has one of fastest vaccination rollouts globally. Around 72% of the country's population has completed their vaccination as of August. Malaysia. Malaysia's GDP increased 16.1% in the second quarter of 2021 after four consecutive quarters of contraction. However, the strong growth for this quarter was also attributed to the low base recorded in the second quarter of 2020. The services sector which was the main contributor to Malaysia's economy, grew 13.4%. Manufacturing sector grew at a faster rate of 26.6% in the second quarter of 2021, compare from first quarter of 6.6%, construction sector expanded 40.3% from a decrease of 10.4% in the previous quarter. While, mining and quarrying sector recorded a double-digit growth of 13.9% from a contraction of 5% in the second quarter of 2021. Private final consumption expenditure which contributed 55% of GDP in the second quarter of 2021, increased by 11.6% attributed to the higher consumption in transport, food and non-alcoholic beverages and communication. On the other hand, the agriculture sector dipped 1.5% as compared to a marginal growth of 0.2% in the first quarter of 2021. The total number of COVID-19 cases in Malaysia stood at 1.5 million. The country posted a record number of daily cases and deaths last week. While restrictions will continue to weigh on growth for the next couple of months, with the vaccination rollout accelerating, Malaysia's 2021 economic growth forecast could be lowered due to new lockdown measures.